Presenting Father Maguire, the fat chap in a flat cap. Viewer discretion is advised. Some of what you are about to see may shock you. It may astound you. You may want to see more. Fasten your seat belt. This could get bumpy. Thumbly Technicolor. <laughs> Good morning folks, it is I, Father Maguire and despite trying twice already hopefully this time there's going to be audio because I've done two of these walks already with the camera on talked the whole way round, made myself look mad to my fellow villagers and uh, to find that uh, there was no audio recorded which is a bit of a pain in the arse so the third time lucky I've checked, I've double checked so there should be audio on this one and it's the long walk with George. It'll take about 35, 40 minutes, depending on him. How many times he stops and, you know, investigates this and that and the other. So I, I let me uh, let <laughs> let me explain to you. I live in a very small village in Lincolnshire. Um, only a few hundred people live here, um, and that's saying something, you know, because it's uh, there's not that many houses. Um, there's three, four farms, maybe five I think, I, I don't know, um, but we're going to see them today anyway because we're going to walk all the way around the village and uh, you'll see the animals that are in some of them and I think some of them are um, arable farmers so it's just fields where they do the crops and stuff. There used to be a whole, uh, before Christmas, a whole host of animals around and uh, the, there's still the majority of them here, but the sheep have disappeared. If there's a break in filming, by the way, it's because I'm uh, dealing with George's poo. No, no licking, George. No, I've got to stop him from doing that because uh, he'll lick and lick and lick and then he gets home and throws up. And it's not natural. Hey! Yeah, I'm watching you. I had a quick glance up there to see what I was doing. I have to stop him because he did it yesterday. He got home, had a drink of water and then threw up. And it's because he licks and licks and licks whatever he likes and it's not natural for a dog to be doing that. Every now and then, yeah, to get moisture off grass or a leaf or something, but he does it way too much. So anyway, yeah, I live, uh, live in the country, so you're going to see my long walk as I call it um, we do go investigating when the weather's proper and I haven't got things planned to do like I've started uh, streaming again um, on Twitch Father Maguire is my uh, my Twitch name should you want to watch me playing games and talking about stuff um, I've done what I've done three days so far in a space of about five I'll do it again today when we get back and yeah, it's all right. Up until I have my surgery anyway in a couple of weeks and then it'll have to stop again, unfortunately. I might just do a just chatting thing where we watch YouTube videos or whatever, but yeah. Come on, George, come on. He's doing it again. So this is the first farm on the left here. You can see the uh, farm dog and the uh, calves in the barns here. No, no, he always stops at this garden about five different places. Let me just raise that up a bit, look, so you can see. There's all the calves. They're normally making noise at this morning, time of the morning, but not today. They're all awake.
I can tell I live in the country because the paths have gone now. So we have to walk on the road, which is not safe, but we've not got too much to walk on the road before we hit the bridle way. Come on then. No motor vehicles allowed. S34 road traffic at 1988. We've got a car coming. I don't think we're going to make it before the uh, car gets here, so we'll just get up on the grass and let the car come past. And as is with most modern motorists, they don't care enough to put their hand up to thank you for being, you know, well, for getting off the road. I would. If I was driving, I'd be uh, putting my hand up to say thank you because. You don't have to, you can walk on the road and people in motor cars have to move over now. Uh, during the sort of raining times, it is, as you can probably tell, impossible to walk down here without Wellington boots on. Oh, George is doing his business, let me just raise the camera so you don't see me picking it up. And you can barely get down here. I don't like wearing wellies, Wellington boots. Um, it makes it hard for me to walk because I've got lumps under one of my feet that's relating to me hand condition. And I can't see... You haven't done anything, George. There's nothing there to pick up. He made the motion of having a poo, but there's nothing there. Literally nothing. Weirdo. Weirdo. Let's tilt the camera again. Yeah, so this is, because it's not rained for about a week properly, this is now passable. You can see it's fairly dry in the middle bits. There are some places where I still have to sort of uh, like these puddles coming up here um, I'll have to watch where my footing is no, no, he's licking again I'm not letting you do it mate, sorry I know it's ruining your fun I've got to keep him behind me here and he can't wander off because this is the proper muddy bit as you can sell there look tractors still come down here and churn it up and spread the water around so I have to navigate my way around the puddles and then we're back onto decent ground again but when it's been raining trust me it's horrible walking down here and especially down the footpaths because they properly don't get the sun because they're covered up with uh, with trees and overhanging bushes and stuff. I don't mean concrete footpaths by the way, I mean public footpaths. Ones that are basically dirt tracks that, you know, people are allowed to walk down. Even if it's on farmland, as you're gonna see in a minute, no. George is uh, licking again. But it's a beautiful day, not a cloud in the sky, it's only about 9 degrees, but I did this walk yesterday with my heavy coat on and regretted it, because the heavy coat was, it's been designed to withstand minus 25 Celsius temperatures and I was warm by the time I got halfway around because obviously the walking and that's going to warm you up anyway. But this track so I've been informed, if you follow this all the way down, it takes you to a railway line um, that then will take you to the next village across to the right. Uh, so let me explain. The closest village to me is about two and a half miles away. The closest shop to me is about two and a half miles away. On all 
uh, parts, all circular parts of the village. There's no, you know, there's a village over there, there's a village over there, and there's a village over there. So you get some nice views here. Let me just flip this camera up a bit. You know, it's probably not a good spot to be showing you here actually. There's a better view around the side. It's a little bit hazy in the morning and some afternoons as well. This bit is uh, a bit treacherous. I'll just bring George back so I can get up here because he was walking on that bit. Because people don't pick the dog poo up like responsible owners. And horses come down here and chewed the ground up a little bit. Oh, that's what I was going to tell you about bridleways. It says no motor vehicles allowed, but obviously farm traffic can come up and down it to access the fields. And it's intended for horses. Let's get cracking. Let me just tilt that up a bit. I didn't know if you caught that because it was tilted down. I'm tilting it down because as well as seeing where I'm going, you can see what I'm standing on as well because you can see uh, horseshoe prints and all sorts of the dogs. And of course I want to be keeping an eye out for dog poo because I don't want to be walking in that. Come on, mate. I try to pick the pace up a bit where I can because uh, I'm obviously trying to lose weight and uh, I know it's his walk, but uh, I want to try and get a bit of exercise. So if you hear me out of breath, that's good because that means uh, I'm working harder than I should do. I've got asthma as well, so I'm sort of... <laughs> It's a lesser of two evils, really. I'm trying not to set my asthma off, but trying to get out of breath enough to know that I've uh, had exercise. And it's hard when he keeps stopping like this for nothing. And I have to get him G'd up. So this is the back end of the farm that we saw the cows at. In this bit here, there's a load of pigs. You can't see them now because they put uh, them wooden boards up. And he's having a lick, so we're going to have to stop him now, George. No. And look at that. Got a better view here. No, George, no, no, no licking, no licking. Stop how many times you like for a sniff and a, a wee and a poo, but you're not licking. Got to stop him. Getting tired of cleaning up sick. And he just does this all the time. He's like a little, very slow hoover. He, uh, he'll just scan, a bit like metal detecting. Head going from side to side, trying to find something to lick. And this is where I have to stop him because he can sniff all he likes, we, you know, poo and do everything else, but licking, no. Come on, he's even licking his lips trying to find something. So we'll spur him on a little bit. And there's one of the farmers walking his dog, look. I'll try not to get him on the uh, camera. I have the same problem, mate. I have the same problem. Oh. 
stubborn, aren't they? He's just the same. I let him off the lead and then he does what he likes and I have to put him back on the lead. It's a disciplined dog. It's a nice morning, isn't it? Oh, beautiful, isn't we it? We finally turned the corner. We have, mate. Yeah, glorious week. This is 17, 17, 17, apparently. Is it? Yeah, well, it said it was 19 in my car. Nice. Right, you'll see what? No, they're Dead. playing, aren't they? Two don't know this either. Yeah, this is probably our summertime now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Best of it. Yeah. Come on, you. Take care. See you later. This is what you get to meet. You see other people with their dogs, especially in the village, because it's such a nice village to walk around. And he lives just up here, because he's a farmer. They're probably the farmer who owns this land here. And you know, summertime you'll see combine harvesters parked up in here. I'll just tilt that up again so you can see that view at the back. But yeah, what village life is like, folks. I mean, there's obviously a lot of things you miss, like you know, if I want to go to a supermarket like an Aldi, like I do, it's sort of six, seven mile away. But for me personally, it's not a bad thing because I used to have. Um, a problem at night. I know the co-op's not far away, but I know I know how expensive it is compared to Aldi. I don't really go there. Um, I've got to go out today. He's licking again. George, no, no licking, no. Um, because I have my prescriptions ready at the pharmacy, and I've got to get Mother's Day cards um, for my mum and stepmum, which is this Sunday, and. Uh, what else was I going to do? Oh, I need to pick a, a notebook, a letter from the doctor. So I've got to go out, which is probably why I won't be streaming at all today because I also want to do that uh, unboxing of my drone, which will be another video coming to YouTube because it's a drone that's available on Amazon, a cheaper one, but nobody's done a review of it. So I'm going to try and get a lot of footage today and do a few tests on it do an unboxing so people can see what you get and how big it is because there's a lot of negative comments on the reviews of the drone on uh, on Amazon other oh, horses are in the uh, just tilt that up so you can see a lady comes here twice a day to feed the horses sometimes takes them out for a ride but uh, yeah I tilt it back down again because it's horrible to rain down here this is the bit that again when it's been raining is a nightmare to navigate. He's taking the right hand path because he's lighter than me and I, it's quite dry there now but I prefer walking on bricks even if they are at a funny angle. Another nice view there. This is another paddock here, there's another horse being kept just a little bit further down from the other two. Come on George. Joe's getting welcomed by one of the local dogs. This is a lovely little uh, walk through here. When you look, but this is one of those places I was mentioning, a, a public footpath that is uh, gets a bit bogged up because it takes a long time to dry up. You can see it's all in shadow and it very rarely gets the sun.
people, village life. So relaxed and calm and quiet. I mean, obviously that radio that's playing on in the background a minute ain't quiet, but they do that every day because she cleans the kennels out every day. Right, so that's the end of the village. That goes down to uh, Claypole, which is a couple of miles away. So that's, uh, we've been to one end already. We've been, it's in a bit like a crossroads if you want. So this is part two of four. And then we get back up to the top and uh, start the short course, so to speak, because obviously we don't always do the long course when the weather's been bad, but we will do it every time, like now. I'm doing it twice a day now to get the exercise up and try and lose a bit of weight before my surgery. I'm not doing bad. I'm not buying anything I shouldn't be. I had my cheat meal last night and uh, enjoyed it. Well, you both did, didn't we, George? You had some and all. I'll have a little bit of sausage. We're getting there, George, aren't we? Excuse me, sorry about the sniffing. I always end up having to blow my nose when I'm on these walks because it's uh, I've been inside where it was warm and you come outside where it's, you know, not so warm and it's a change in temperature. So as you can see on this sign here, look. Oh, one and a half to the nearest village, but that's on the outskirts anyway. Stubton's two and a half. Grantham's 11 and Newark's six. And that's the outskirts in Newark. That's not where I go, which will be about another mile past that. So this is how good this little village is. This is the bus stop, the only one. And people obviously use it as a notice board for businesses and the local magazines. But also it's like the public library. So if you want a new book to read, you can come in here and take one of these. Um, or if you wanted to let somebody have a read of books you've already read and that you don't want to keep anymore, you just bring them in here and leave them in here. And people are good like that. You don't see that in many places. Oh, one of the farm cats down there. Come on, mate. He's dragging his heels a bit now. This is what I meant about his uh, half a mile distance. He doesn't like much more. And he's starting to slow down now. This is why I let him off the lead. He's pretty good off the lead, to be honest. But uh, it's the licking that I can't control. So I have to be careful with him. Come on. Because if I leave him too much, he'll end up throwing up and that's my own fault for letting him off the blooming lead. Come on, George. This is another farm. I don't hear any animals from here at all, so I'm presuming that this is a arable farm. Go on, then. Now this church, uh, I'm not religious by the way, but I do appreciate good architecture, and this church is certainly one of them. This uh, is number two in the world 
for the most leaning tower behind the leaning tower of Pisa so if you look from where I'm standing here and watch the horizontal bit across the top of the roof there you can see how much this is leaning to the right you can probably see it better when we come in from the other side after we've been to the end of the village but yeah and this was built in the 14th or 15th century I think so six six hundred years ago or something we'll check on the board because there's an information board um, near the pub that gives you a bit of information about the village and it tells you on there when it was built and come on I'm watching you making sure you're not licking everything I don't mind him doing it on here so much because it's grass but it's other places where you know you, you wonder what the hell he's licking because it can't be moisture like it. this is glistening a bit because of the morning dew and he's probably going for the you know even though he's got water at home he's probably going for the moisture so yeah this church isn't really uh, used anymore for services apart from special occasions you can hire it for weddings and funerals and that sort of thing but it seems I think it might be once a month that like the parish priest who does three or four different churches over that period of time will probably do one service a month here because there's just no need for one vicar to cover this church alone this is the bit I don't like because he picks up grass fleas off here even though he's been treated I check him every time we come back and I always find one little sod on him somewhere thought we George eh? don't we? we do come on hey interested by the workers there come here good boy wait come on then come on come on good boy bit concerned there because he won't come in he gets afraid of strange noises and they're going to be banging about oh no they're cutting the grass come on then council guys we get a lot of uh, motorway maintenance people stop here to I don't know check the load or just wait until road works are due to start and stuff like that this is the bit where I have to wait for George because he just he, he keeps stopping all over the place and if he keeps doing it he's going back on the lead aren't you because we need to get on mate Well that road there goes down to the A1, there's no villages down there, it's just a mile and a half or something to the A1, and this is the town, the uh, village hall, and that's the oldest tree in the village. God knows how old that is, but I can imagine it's a uh, it's, uh, hundred at least. Come on George, hey, come on. Dinky little building that is. I'll have a look at the information board on the way back to find out more about the church and more about the village. Nobody knows why it's called what it is, which uh, is a bit strange, isn't it? So this is the last bit, um, the, the, the last uh, piece of the crossroads of the exit to the village so to speak because there's obviously four different ways in and out of it. Hey, come on. Good boy. 
I don't like him stopping when we're on the road. All we do is we walk down to the chevrons. George, come on. I can hear a car or something coming. The bus has already been, so that would have scared him. Cars don't tend to scare him, he's used to walking. No! No! Don't you dare. He's been trying to do that the last couple of days or something. There's something on the curb across the road there that's catching his scent. But I can't just let him walk over there like he wants to. Because if he gets into bad habits, that's down to me, really, for allowing him to do it. So this is the back end of the fourth farm. Or third. How many we counted? One, two. Yeah, third farm. So there's some cows there, as you can see. And then we uh, we have a look this way at the views, all the way down that road into the distance is Westborough. Um, again, it's a bit hazy today, but when it's clear, it's a beautiful view. And uh, that's a couple of mile away as well. All the villages seem to be apart from Claypole, which is a mile and up. Hey, no, I stop it. You can't do that, George. I'm trying to go over the road again. He's only started doing it in the last week. It must be uh, somebody walking another dog over there and he's catching its scent or something. You know, a plane going past behind us. I don't know if we can see it. Yeah, there it is. Looks like a sort of. Uh, it's a jet. It's a small passenger plane anyway, but it's a jet. Come on, mate. On our way home, aren't we? Hey, on our way back to where we started. Get to pick up a bit of pace now and I'm going uphill a bit so the beauty of this place as well is even if a cyclist because we get a lot of these club cyclists going past in the village and they'll all say morning to you and you say morning back every person you meet on the path always morning morning how are you you know, when the people take the time to stop and just have a quick chat like I did with that farmer and, you know, on your way, innit? And people do that here. You don't get that in towns. Not really. I lived in Grantham before here. And uh, I lived there for ten years. And I didn't really, apart from the people I worked with, I didn't make any friends. Because people just aren't interested in what you're doing. George, what are you doing? You can tell what I mean by how crooked that steeple is from here, look. If you look at the top of the roof of the church and look at how leaning that tower is, that's why it's number two behind the leaning tower of Pisa in the world. I'll tilt this camera down a bit again so we can see the uh, information board. Come here. Come here. You've got to put George on the lake because there's another dog there. And it's not really responsible to to do that. Morning. Come here, George. Come here. Good boy. <laughs> That's it, is it, right? <laughs> so there, look. Standing on the village green, St James's Church is the oldest building in the village and is Grade Two listed. Excuse me. Uh, whilst the church dates back to the 12th century, blimey, most of what we see today was from major restoration work in 1876. The doorway is the oldest part of the church being early 12th century. 
and the nave interior has four late 13th century bays with plainly moulded pointed arches and octagonal pillars yeah it's there look uh, the angle of lean has been authenticated as being 4.8 degrees this is greater than that of the leaning tower of Pisa it's greater than that well well this is the walk we've done here the little blue line We've gone around there and around there and around there and it tells you that that's three quarters of a mile. But we do slightly more. But there's other walks you can do and we'll, we'll get them in at some point. Stop licking George. The pub's on here which is what we're standing next to now. And the village hall's there. A few different. That fox there, there's definitely a fox on this green a couple of days ago because it massacred a pigeon. Come on mate. Come on. We'll come down here you can probably just see that white flag there and there was feathers all over the place and there was just bones left so you know it's a fox because it's just you know killed it and eaten it basically not another plane going over the lot don't know if you can see that prop plane that one That's the other thing we're living in Lincolnshire, it's, uh, there it is. You get a lot of planes. So that door, if it's the 12th century, you're talking 11 or something, is like, it could be 900 years old, that door, which is incredible. Absolutely incredible. I mean, Lincoln Cathedral's a thousand years old or something, so this must have been built around the same time. In fact, it's got a date on next to the door. I can't quite make that out. Anyway, we need to get away from here because they're starting to cut the grass, and that means noise. And always do getting the strimmer out. Keep an eye on the Georgester. I'm actually a bit surprised he's only done one poo today, which is a bit rare for George. Sometimes he does five or six. I'm not complaining, folks, trust me. I am really not complaining. That was the other farm that we talked about on the way round. As you can tell, we're, uh, we're coming back round to the start of the walk now. We're nearly there, aren't we, George? Eh? Nearly there, mate. I can get you cleaned up because that's the the one thing we do when we get in: get his towel out and give him a rub over to get the mud or most of the dirt out of his paws and clean him up a little bit, don't we? Eh? No, come on mate, you're licking, come on. Oh, he's doing another one. I'll lift this up now so you can't see me picking it up. But you don't want to see that. Nobody wants, oh my God, I can't pick that up, George. It's bloody wet. I'll try. I'll try and pick it up. <laughs> it's going to be difficult because it's not really solid. This field here, sometimes there's cows in there. Oh God, yours, that's, yeah. Not oh good. Come on then. We'll get home. I think my next door neighbours are having some work done today because uh, there's a work van there. Must be having some flooring done. Which surprises me to be honest because they were working on the place for a month or two before they moved in. So I'm surprised that they're uh, 
and the lashes just didn't finish it all, maybe. Come on. So, we're back at the signpost, thanks. Thank you very much for watching, do appreciate it. That's about the end of the long walk with George. Just wait for this lorry to go past. Please don't forget, if you don't already, hit the subscribe button and a thumbs up if you like the video. Please make a comment if you'd like to see something else or you know you could make any you know decent comments about the, the, the video itself. So uh, for the time being I'm going to sign off and say uh, I'll either see you on Twitch when I'm streaming or I'll see you in the next video. Take care for now folks, Father Maguire out.